Alright guys, hello and welcome to another wonderful game of League. So today we are playing ourselves about um, Goldish Elo and we're playing on the Korea server. And we're up against a Nunu. And um, I'm running Ignite. And uh, yeah, we're just going to roll with it. So if you guys are stuck in gold, this is the game for you. We're going to start on our red here. We don't really need a leash. I'd prefer a leash. Minions we don't need a leash. Oh, hi, Nunu. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, let's fight. Let's fight, buddy. Let's fight. Oh, my God. Why is he so fast? What is his move speed? What the? He's sitting on, like, 478 move speed. Come on. 1v1, Nunu. I got this. Look at me go, baby. Look at me go. I got that. Mmm. That's how we roll. I just wanted to steal the kill. I don't know what that was, but I approve. See? Let me go ahead and tell you something, guys. By starting on the second buff, I prevented Nunu from counter jungling me. Getting my buff early, I come up here and I'm missing half my jungle. I rage because I start falling behind. You see how just simply starting on the opposite buff completely prevents you from getting counter jungled? And before he takes my blue buff. Now, if I was really worried about getting counter jungled, I would immediately go to my blue buff. But I'm not really too worried about it because he is a little bit behind. But, um, yeah, a lot of people say, Calcep, how do I get, uh, get away from being counter jungled? What do I do when I'm counter jungled? And I say this a lot. If you're getting counter jungled, it's too late. Next game, GG, FF, 15, whatever. Because the thing is, is you guys want to make sure that you don't get counter jungled early. Because once you start falling behind, what are you, what are you going to do? If they come in and contest your jungle, you lose. You have to position yourself to prevent them from doing that. And the best way to do that is to start your jungle in awkward ways. So in this case, you start on the opposite buff. And then the enemy jungler comes into your jungle and they have no camps. Now, obviously, you're not going to like kill Nunu every game when he like walks up into your red buff. But this is a really efficient way of preventing Graves, Nidalee, uh, Nunu, Kane, right? So when you see these champions, you want to start on your opposite side buff pretty much every game. All right, so we're going to keep doing this clear downwards here. I'm hoping my blue is not gone, but I don't think he took it. Now, the thing is... Oh, he's literally doing it. He's literally doing it. Hey. Hey, oh my god. Mid-diff. Big mid-diff. Big mid-diff. I'm going for it, boys. No. Get away from me. What the... <laughs> All right. Well... My mid laner is still chilling in mid. I'm not sure what this Nunu is doing, but... Alright. Well, this is this is a good time. Hey, Lulu. Thanks for the defense, bro. Uh, we're not going to be able to get this boss like crap because Nunu is going for it. But a more positive note, if we get boots, we can actually try to rush the top side crap. So let's go for this. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this, 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 and a pink ward. And we're going to run it down to this crab and try to secure the crab. So just in case you're wondering how I knew Nunu was doing my blue before the vision, uh, that might be a problem that people might have. He actually warded over the wall, and I sold a ward. So um, just in case you're wondering how I saw him there, there you go. Now we want to go in and place a ward That should die Uh oh How many ticks does that do? It does 5 ticks I think that worked out We're going to put this here And now we are the counter jugglers Okay I don't know how Nunu hasn't managed to do his wolves yet I'm not really too sure what he's doing He's on the move That's what he's doing Hey Nunu where are you going? Alright. The counter jungle lure has become the counter jungle lead. Come on. I don't know what Wukong is doing. I mean, I could turn around and just like give him some hurt. Wukong, you want to fight? Yeah, I don't really want to waste my time. So, you don't want to waste your time if you can prevent it. Like, you don't want to go chasing after that Wukong. Immediately, you want to go start farming. And my head hurts. These headphones are hurting my head. So I'm going to take these off and we're going naked, friends. You ever seen a cow with only his hat and no headphones? That's what you're witnessing right now. Okay, let's go. 
let's grab this and we're gonna continue our clear downwards i don't really want to go back yet we're about 500 gold from our uh blood razor and we could sell our potion which makes us about 400 so between this clear we could definitely have an opportunity to uh get enough gold for blood razor which is why i haven't backed yet because when you're in a situation where you could potentially get more gold you don't want to do it now especially in like gold elo uh which we're playing right here uh, you never know when you might end up popping a gank on accident. That's the thing. I feel like, like in Diamond, you have to try really hard to get your ganks. But I feel like in Gold, the ganks just come to you. Like, like my level one kill on Nunu, they just, they come to you. And you, and you might feel like, Calcep, I don't personally feel like people gank or whatever. And I had somebody earlier tell me um, that, uh, oh, that in low elo, the players like, they int. So that you can't split push and you can't get wins and you literally can't win, right? So actually, I decided to show the individual my op.gg to kind of give them a good feeling of how it works, right? So let me show you here. We got to wait 25 gold anyway. If you do what I'm showing you, you will win every game. Your team cannot stop you. So you see, I'm winning every game here. That's a ranked game. I have 100% win rate and these are gold players. You can see they're in gold four here. And these are gold players. You do what I'm showing you, you win every game. That means this game here that we're playing right now, we're gonna win this game too. And I will win every single game up until Platinum ELO. So if you wanna get better, watch my games and copy what I do, especially the low ELO games. Now my diamond games, I play a lot different. I play a lot different. So I find that games like this are probably the games you prefer to watch. Because the way that you play, you're always ganking and doing stuff like that but you follow this and you always do well and now if you're saying but calcif you have a 50 percent win rate i mean i literally was like playing ap gangplank jungle look look okay i'm playing gangplank jungle okay I, i'm not a gangplank player okay i got a 34 percent win rate guys i got a 34 percent win rate okay but anyway, you follow what I do, you will win all of your games with Master Yi, okay? Is that better? If you play Master Yi, you will win. <coughs> now, I can't guarantee these results for other champions, but it is what it is. So make sure you um, clear downwards here, guys. I'm not really interested in ganking this unless I really need to. I just want to get this guaranteed farm. It's all about getting the guaranteed farm. And so, what I'm saying is, like, you play Yi like this, you will always win. I just, I will not lose with Yi in this elo. So, copy me, guys. Copy me. You don't even need to be mechanically good. Once you start understanding how I'm playing the game here, you will improve. So, you see how he wants me to guard this mid tower? What would you do? Would you guys go and guard mid? No, no, no. You want to continue to clear your jungle? And let's check for crab here. And we're going to... We could even kill this Yasuo here. If I don't misclick. Jeez. Like, look. I told you. The ganks come to me, dude. This is what I'm saying. Like, the people... Like, it just happens. They just come to me. I don't even try to kill these guys. I just, like... What? They just, like, came to me. It's just... What can I say? They just come to me. Alright, so let's go ahead and buy our Gunju's Rage Blade here. And we're going to go clear top. And I'm just going to go ahead and straight up tell you guys here. If you get this fed early, like, if you're looking at... You give me three kills early and a low elo game, and I'm probably going to end the game in like 20 minutes. Uh, and I'm going to show you why. I might, I might drag it out a little bit so I can get some more ad revenue. But I'm going to show you guys how you can end this game really quickly. Uh, just based on like getting early kills like this. So basically what you want to do is you want to get this Gunju's by like 13 minutes. And then you just straight up win. So uh, what we want to do is go for the Rift Herald. And we're probably going to force an AFK this game, by the way. I just want you guys to know that. We're going to go for the Rift Herald. And the reason why we want the Rift Herald is because Rift Herald forces people to come deal with us. 
We're really far ahead. Look at it. Like, look how much they're pushing, guys. What? Wukong's gonna, like... I thought he was gonna come back, but he didn't. Anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and do the Rift Herald here. And once we get the Rift Herald, we can then go back and we can buy a Gunzu's Rage Blade. We can drop our boots. Always worth it to drop boots, in my opinion, for Gunzu's. But, uh, I might not even go back. Because the enemy teams might be coming up here. Let's go down and check his jungle. We might even just be able to kill some of his jungle here. Dude, I told you. The ganks just come to me. These are gold players. Like, you don't even need to go looking for them. Like, you put yourself in a position where you might run into people, and they will run into you. Like, I'm going into his jungle in an effort to find people to fight. Like, they might not be there, but it is what it is. All right, let's go secure that dragon now. So we put ourselves a dragon. They come to deal with dragon. We put ourselves a rift herald. They come to deal with rift herald. We go into their jungle. They go into their jungle, right? If I'm in my jungle, they're not likely to come and deal with me. But if, if I'm ahead and I put myself in their jungle, they're likely to come to me that way. So let's go ahead and walk up here. Sweep it. And we're just going to kill the new new. Like, he, he's dead. Like... And look, the gank's coming to me again. And here comes another one. Anybody else coming? Just just let me know. That's just that's just kind of how it is. They just they keep running at you. And that's why like it doesn't matter how much your team's in in low elo, you'll always be able to do something about it. So now that we have Rift Herald, we definitely want to use this to push some plates. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and just drop it a mid. Like, I would prefer to take the Rift Herald, push a tower with it, and then the enemy comes to deal with me because the Rift Herald's pushing. But in this case, I just want the plates and I want to get my farm. Like, I can go mid. I don't have ultimate. So, like, if I had ultimate, I would probably go push top with it or something. But... I don't have ult, so I'm just going to continue farming, go back, purchase some items, and then I'm going to go push a lane. Probably bot lane. Bot lane looks really yummy, actually. Alright, so we're going to head back now. And uh, I don't typically like to finish boots because uh, it delays my power spike. But look how much AD damage they have, right? So buying boots here is a really big advantage for me. So uh, I might go for like a Blade of Rune King just because I'm ahead. If I, I mean, I think Death Dance is also really good. I'm not going to get a Wits in because again, like they're mostly AD damage, right? Yeah, if you get a lead at all, you absolutely want to push it. Like, I could straight up just push straight to their inhibitor right now, and there's nothing they could do about it. So, I I mean, crap, I'll show you guys. I'll literally, I'll just show you. I'll push straight to their inhibitor. I know what you're thinking. This is unbelievable, Calcept. There's no way I'm doing it. Yeah, take my level 4 mastery, huh? You ever seen a level 4 mastery Yi player before? See, Malphite Sting. He shouldn't be Sting. What's he gonna do? Q? Dodge. He can't do anything. I can legitimately, I can just dive him. He doesn't know it, but watch. Here comes another guy. Anybody else coming? Ash? I know this is your lane. Alright, well let's keep pushing to the inhibitor here. So we're just going to keep pushing. We're going to push all the way to the inhibitor. Because we can. Why not, right? Actually, I don't have any life skill. I don't think I can. Well, that was going to be a kill. But it wasn't. Well, that was going to be a kill. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graphs here and show you a little bit. So even though I'm like kind of doing a kill-focused game there, you can see that... Uh, yeah, we're not going to honor any of them. 
So even though we're doing a kill focus game there, and ignore the silver, come on. Remember, remember guys, you can play above the elo you're placed at if you're doing well enough. So if we take a look at the graphs here, you can see I'm, I got the most damage even though I'm Master Yi. If you guys know anything from my other games, Master Yi's not a damage dealer. And even so, our damage to objectives is probably significantly higher than other people, right? I mean, Nunu is Nunu, so he actually did pretty good. He got the first dragon as well. But you can see that Mashi is just all about pushing those early objectives. So, anyway, that's how you do it, folks. So if you guys uh, enjoyed the video or whatever, let me know. Seriously, even you guys can do this. If you guys are lower, if you guys are lower than platinum, all your games can be like this. Just copy the style. It'll work really well for you. So until next time, have a wonderful night, wonderful day, whatever it is for you.